Hey everybody, how you guys doing today? Uh, just a quick video uh, showing you uh, one of my other hobbies. Uh, I really do like using pellet guns. Um, living in Canada, I, I really can't uh, go out and buy a handgun uh, without a lot of hassle and a lot of money uh, forked over. Um, so just for the target practice uh, that I want to do, I ended up purchasing this pellet gun made by Crossman. It's the uh, 2240 model. I went with this one because uh, a lot of different reasons. Um, you can mod this gun uh, to pretty much anything you want. Uh, you could replace the barrel to a longer one. Uh, you could replace uh, even how you load it. You could replace the, the breech here. Uh, you could replace the uh, bolt action uh, to a better steel chambered one. A lot of things you could do with this uh, pistol to uh, make it shoot harder and more accurate, uh, putting different sights on it. So that's why I went with this model. There's a lot of options you could do after the fact when you buy just your standard model like this. Uh, this takes uh, 22 caliber pellets. A larger pellet than uh, the .177 caliber. Um, these pellets hit a lot harder than the smaller caliber of uh, the .177. Punches holes in soup cans like no one's business uh, without any problems at about 75 feet. Uh, this gun is uh, rated at uh, 495 feet per second. Uh, just under the legal limit for Canada. I don't have my uh, firearms license yet or uh, had it probably about four years ago and uh, just didn't keep up with it so it expired. Uh, might go back and get one, might not. Um, I do want to continue doing some hunting. Uh, not with this. I do have uh, rifles right now but they're not under my possession because I don't have the license. And uh, when it comes to guns, guys, I don't screw around. I do everything I'm supposed to. Uh, if you live in Canada, you know the hassle that you could get into if you don't. <laughs> so I follow the law when it comes to that uh, 100%. Uh, so this falls under the, the legal limit that I'm allowed to use in Canada without having my firearms license. Uh, 450, or 495 feet per second. Uh, the cutoff limit is 500 feet per second. Um, this is a really powerful uh, air pistol, guys. Um, some people do use this for hunting small game, uh, rabbits, partridge, that sort of thing. Um, for me, just plain target practice is why I got this. Uh, really just like uh, seeing how accurate I could get with it. And uh, with the 22 caliber and the way this gun is designed, it's one of the most accurate out there. Um, it takes uh, CO2 cartridges. Just your standard, uh, I forget how many ounce cartridge this is, or 12 gram cartridge, I think it is. Yeah, 12 gram CO2 cartridges. And uh, just to load these CO2 cartridges in, you just uh, unscrew this portion here. Uh, drop your CO2 cartridge down, uh, tip first. I'm not going to do it because this one's actually full and I don't want to energize this right now. Uh, you'd screw this back in. As tight as you can get it with your fingers is all you have to do. You're not looking to puncture the seal by turning this because uh, once you cock it for the first time and shoot for the first time, that sends a pin into that cylinder and then your gun's energized with air. And then every shot after that will have the actual full uh, power of the uh, CO2 cartridge behind it. So maybe just give you a little bit of close up on this. It is a mostly uh, steel gun. So your barrel steel, your uh, air tube, um, the trigger. Uh, the only parts that are plastic are your sight. Um, the trigger guard here and uh, this uh, barrel brace and then also your front sight everything else on this gun's metal I think I paid 60 bucks for this which is a really awesome deal um, I'll be uploading a few videos of this uh, me shooting it uh, if you guys are interested check it out uh, 
like, comment, subscribe down below, and uh, stay tuned for more videos, guys. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more. Bye, guys.